you also know that I'm in deep shame because of this. Hello lovely bookworms and welcome to a new video. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I want to read in November. I don't know if you can see this but <laughs> someone's behind here. But now I've moved her to the background so hopefully um, all will be well on that part. Before I get into the books I wanted to make a quick announcement and that is that me and a couple of my friends on Bookstagram have decided to host a book club um, and we'll be reading a book every single month. You can also opt out to read a book a certain month. Um, you also have the opportunity to not read with us but then join us the next month. If you want to join this book club it's very very easy. I will put a link down below to our Instagram and if you want to join us it's very easy. Just go down below and press the Instagram link. If you will, if you to join us is actually very very easy so you go down below to the Instagram link and if you follow us there you'll get all the announcements you will get to give some recommendations for next month's book you can pick one of the four books that we have selected and actually vote for your favorite and all the discussions and all the posts will be down there hi guys Esme from the future here I just realized that while I was editing this video that I never even mentioned to you guys what this book club is called. So it is called the Whimsical Book Club. Uh, you can find the link to the Instagram down below if you want to check it out. Basically just follow us there, you can get all the announcements and read whichever month you want to read and opt out whenever you want to opt out. So no pain, no sweat. Um, so yeah, information is down below and please continue on with the video. So if you would like to join please go ahead. I am very, very excited about this and one of the books that I will be reading this month is also from uh, this book club and we'll be reading it with all of us. And that book is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I actually just realized that I have two Lee Bardugo books in my TBR this month, but that's okay. So we'll be reading Ninth House and I'm very excited. I don't know too much about it other than the fact that everybody seems to be super excited about this book. Hopefully I'll be enjoying it, but I think you'll be seeing that also in the reading vlogs. So staying on the topic of Lee Bardugo, uh, one of the books that uh, I want to read this month uh, is actually King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. I've had this book's book ever since January, I think, and I desperately need to read it. And I thought that this month would be a good opportunity to finally pick it up. I know it is beautiful. I do know a couple of things, uh, so I'm going in with some reservations concerning this book. But nonetheless, I think I really want to get through it before the next one in this duology comes out. Next up, a book that is intimidating, but I will put on the top of my list this month. And that is The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. You guys know I love The City of Brass. You guys know I haven't read The Kingdom of Copper yet. You also know that I'm in deep shame because of this and I will get to it this month. I will. I will. <laughs> I hope. I will. So this is on here once again. I feel so bad for having a lot of great anticipated books and me not having read them ever since they came out. It's just insane and I need to read them. Speaking of anticipated releases, Rage by Cora Carmack. I actually read Roar two years ago and Rage is here, which I need to read and hopefully Rain, which is the third one, is coming out next year. I'm very excited about this. I might be buddy reading this. I think I mentioned that last month as well and it's just stunning and I need to get to it and I know that I will love it. Next up is a book that I've already started and I think I'm about 200 pages in and that is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Yeah. And again, I really enjoyed this book. I've really enjoyed what I've read so far. I really want to get to the second one, The Dragon Republic, but I haven't finished it yet. It's, it's just such a general thing with me this year because uh, my reading game has not been great. Last year, I think I read 100 books, uh, 120 or something. Um, and this year, it's just not as much because I don't know what it is. It's, well, I know what it is. 
Um, I haven't been reading well, and I've been in a major reading slump multiple times this year, and I'm finally getting back into it. Same goes with the YouTube videos. So I have to get this thing finished. I think I started it in January, and really, even if it is the last thing I do this year, this book will be read. That said, I think I flew right through all of the books. I hope I can enjoy reading again, um, which I have been the past two months. Uh, but before that, I just didn't feel like reading at all. Um, and I just, it took me a long time to get back into the reading game because of everything that happened um, to me this year. Uh, I do really want to thank you guys for watching and supporting me. Um, and also this little Nina right in the back. <laughs> I hope you can see her from there. Um, she was actually in my spot a little while ago. Um, I'll show you a quick clip. I actually filmed it. You stand up for one minute just to grab a couple of books and then your cat decides that it is her time in your sitting spot. Yes, I'm trying to film a video and Nina does not agree. That said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and press the little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that we post. And I will see you guys the next time. Bye!